been a very long time since I've done a vlog. Um, today is my son's birthday and my hair is in these little twisties. It took me a really long time to do them yesterday because I had to keep taking breaks in between but eventually it all got done and I just kind of love not having my hair all like stringy and tangly. I feel like it's kind of like the maintenance of having dreadlocks because I can just not do anything to them and they're not as in the way. I don't get as many hairs in my like all over the place in my baby's hands and mouth and all over my clothes and stuff. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, it's my son's birthday. I'm going to try to put a little bit of makeup on just because we have some errands to do and it would be nice. Baby's sleeping right now. She probably won't stay asleep for very long, but I'm just going to go ahead and put on my makeup. And after that, I'm just going to wait for the little girl to wake up. I have some uh, tie-dyeing to do with my son so that should be fun. We got green tie-dye and just a basic white t-shirt. I figured that would be something fun and different for him to do on his birthday so that's on the agenda. We're gonna go to the recycling center and get rid of our recycling and uh, a few other things. He has a different birthday party to go to even though it's his birthday. They're gonna be doing some Legos today, so that should be fun. We're gonna hang out there for maybe an hour or so, but after that, we have to get back on to his birthday. I'm not sure how long we're gonna stay there, so let me go ahead and put my makeup on. <laughs> hey. What are you watching? That's fun. Yeah, there was a YouTube thing that he really wanted to watch. Um, has to do with Pikmin, which is like his new favorite thing. Not really sure what it's about. Actually, I'm not even sure if it's a game. I think it is. I don't really know, but I'm just gonna let him finish watching that before we do our tie-dye adventure. So we ended up getting just, um, I got this green color. They do have like three packs that cost a little bit more, but I figured, you know, I'm first time like this is the first time I've done a tie-dye by myself, like when I was not in camp or something, so I figured I'll make it easy for myself. I'll just go ahead and get the the kit where they give you elastics and everything. It should be fairly easy. And I got a, a small white shirt that will fit him, so we should be doing that pretty soon. I'll go see if he's ready to do it now or if he'll be ready in the next couple minutes baby's still sleeping. I am sure she's going to wake up right when we're in the middle of that, which is perfectly fine. Um, I know you haven't officially met my baby. She's popped up in a few videos. You've heard her voice and stuff, but I don't think I've ever, just besides right now, um, introduced her to the camera, so we, we should be able to do that today. So that'll be fun. But while he's still fit- Good morning, sweetie. Hi. I always say good morning, regardless of what time it is during the day that she has a nap. I always greet her with a little good morning sweetie. It's so nice to see you. <laughs> Did you have a good sleep? Yeah? You ready to get up? We're gonna do some tie-dye with brother. It's gonna be so fun. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, hi everyone. This is Aria. She has her sleepy I just woke up face on right now and she's gonna join us for some tie-dyeing. Can you see Aria has her little amber necklace on too? Hers is actually the real raw and polished amber because you know uh, they're good for teething. They're teething necklaces. You can learn all about that if you want to but it's pretty common. Um, the beads are not like pointy or anything. It can't hurt her so She's wearing that because she's four and a, oh, like right about four and a half months old. So teething is here or right around the corner. She does not have any teeth yet, but who knows? It could be any time now. So it's supposed to help with, it's like a natural analgesic type of thing where it helps with some teething pain. So let's get on to our tie-dyeing.
I, I went ahead and Michael did the rest of it. He just wanted me to start it so we could get an idea of what to do. But this is what it looks like. We didn't stay in the stripes perfectly, but I think it will come out pretty awesome when we're all done. Good job, buddy. Yeah, you did great. Okay, can't wait to open it. I think we have to sit here and let it kind of air out and dry a little bit before we go ahead and open it. And then um, afterwards, we'll show you what it looks like. Say hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> Um, me and Michael's hands got extraordinarily bluish green when we did that, but that's okay. I thought I knew better and I didn't want to wear gloves. And this is what happened. So we ended up putting that log of shirt outside to dry and we didn't unfold it yet because I didn't want anything to happen. I didn't want the colors to bleed the wrong way. So we put it outside to get a little bit more dry and we're going to leave it there for the most part of the morning. and. We'll go do our recycling and stuff like that, and uh, we'll unfold it when we get back and then hang it out to dry in the sun. I think that's what you're supposed to do, and then after that we can like do a cold wash to help set it. So that was actually really, really fun. Um, I just kind of wish that my hands weren't all stained bluish green, but that's okay. That's what I get for not wearing gloves like I was supposed to. So we're going to feed this baby, and then we'll be off to just do our recycling. Boring. Alright, we're all ready to go. We haven't looked at the shirt yet, but the birthday party that we're supposed to be going to, we kind of misplaced the invitation, so I'm not really sure where it is, and for some reason I deleted the message, um, like the RSVP for the phone number that I was supposed to um, contact the mom because I did text her saying we may or may not go but I definitely wanted to give her some confirmation and for some reason that number is not in my phone I don't know why I would have deleted it but I did and the invitation is nowhere so I think I remember the address we're gonna drive by and see I don't know hopefully there will be some balloons over there I really did a bad job today <laughs> with with all that. I should have been more prepared. I should have looked last night or something, but I didn't. But hopefully we'll be able to figure out where it is or maybe I'll be able to somehow get in contact with this mom. I think I know her name. And we'll just have to go from there. So we might be picking up a little present as well. But for now, we're going to go do our recyclings and um, see when we get there. All right, we're... We're approaching our local recycling center. Here it is. Okay, so here we are for recycling. We just pull up to one of these many bins over here. Uh, we don't have any trash today. Um, we don't have too much trash because we're working on a zero waste thing. So that's the reason why we pass over that. But we're gonna dump all of our recycling into these giant bins. All right, this is what I have. Um, this is our recycling, and we have my mom's recycling too, which is this, just this big basket, and then um, there's a bag back there too. We pick up hers just to make everything easier, and I f forced <laughs> the recycling upon her, so now we all do it, and, um, and then that's that. <laughs> sure. Right. You know when you pick up a gift for somebody and you kind of go in there thinking like they're going to love it, this one's going to be the best, it's awesome. I kind of feel like that right now. Who knows? Maybe you won't like it, but I always think that the best gifts are things that you can do rather than objects, especially for a kid. Like how fun is it to have like craft stuff? I always loved that kind of stuff when I was a kid. Um, I liked clothes too though. <laughs> but anyways, I decided to drop Michael off instead of go in there. They said it was totally fine. The kids are just playing Legos and Aria fell asleep and I knew she would. I knew she'd fall asleep like right when it was time to go. So I just decided to bring her home and have her nap here instead of bring her to a birthday party. We don't live far away from them at all. So I just figured uh, I'll go back when it's time to pick him up in an hour and a half. Actually, I think I have about an hour left before I'm going to head back over there and get him. And then after that, we can work on doing stuff for uh, for Michael's actual birthday party. You know what? 
this is the time that I should be wrapping his presents. I was supposed to do that today, and I'm like, oh my god, how am I going to have time to do that? He's going to see. He's with me all day. Like, you know, I know he's in his room playing with t his toys a lot, but I was a little worried that I wouldn't have time to do it. So I am going to wrap his presents right now, and then Aria might wake up at any point, or maybe not, because this is her... She takes a lot of naps, and this is her second nap for the whole entire day, so she might sleep a little bit longer, not really sure, but either way, I need to get on that, so let me do it. <laughs> this video. Pause it. Is there something wrong with it? No, my fingers. Ta-da! Whoa! You like it? Yeah. Can you see it on the camera? Yeah. So Mikey had a really good time at his other party. They played Legos, they watched The Night Be Before Christmas, and there was a big group of boys and they were just running around being boys and he said it was the best party ever. So that was, that was really, really good. And now we're gonna be on our way to his birthday party, which is taking place at my mom's house. It's just a family get together and he should be getting a few gifts and we're gonna be having some fun and doing fun things. I'm sure there's going to be cake, just your typical little boy birthday party. So we're packing up and we're getting ready to head over there now and it should be a good time. Yeah. So like, yeah. uh, I know, I oh, yeah, yeah. His oh, cowboy, the guy that he works with. Is this the same? Yeah. Dude. Think for a second. July. So he's about... 13 months old. He's a curious George. Likes to touch everything. <gasps> happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday to you. No pinching Aria's <laughs> cheeks. Yeah. Woohoo! A 3DS. Yeah. So awesome. You're so lucky. That's nice. silly, huh? <laughs> 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 what is it? I did, yeah. <laughs> Mikey, I can't see you. Another one. Whoa, Omar. Who's that from? That's from me and Tim. Wow. Bowser Jr. Woohoo! I get a hug too? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <gasps> you get a Chuck E. Cheese trip? Yes! Good job! We get to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Hey, we got all of us. All right, that's it for today. I think we're gonna we're gonna put a bow on it. Is that is that what they say? I think we're gonna we're gonna put a bow on it. I think the bow is before though. Yeah, but what movie is that from? It's from a movie. The one none of us know. No, it's the one with the Applebee's. Oh my God. Uh, it's from Hall Pass. Everybody knows that movie. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!